this is Ujjal Kumar Sand and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to share with you diesel cycle and of course its derivation and uh, what it states in the title of this video I will share with you its derivation right so uh, you know to derive diesel cycle you first need to understand its diagram its graphical diagram okay you can say PV diagram or TS diagram if you'll understand its TS and PV diagram then derivation of diesel cycle or you can say its other name is constant pressure cycle so what I was talking about if you wanted to derive equation of diesel cycle then you need to understand its PV diagram right or even TS diagram because its derivation is almost based on the diagram so first of all let's understand the diagram PV diagram then we will understand TS diagram then we will go for each and every process we have in that cycle right so every cycle consists of uh, different different process right so here in case of diesel cycle we are having also different different process okay so let's say PV diagram we are drawing P for pressure B for volume so in case of diesel cycle we have one unique thing that is I will share with you just let me draw yeah the cycle is going like this 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so 1 to 2 is known as isentropic compression this is known as isentropic compression 2 to 3 is known as the uh, just see here 2 to 3 there is no change in pressure that's why it is known as constant pressure process and be because of these this is known as constant I mean constant pressure cycle okay so in the examination they can also ask you this cycle as constant pressure cycle so you need to derive this equation only for finding out efficiency of this cycle and here what is q1 basically heat is supplied here 2 to 3 process right 3 to 4 is known as isentropic isentropic expansion and 4 to 1 is known as q2 that is heat is rejecting here so here q1 heat is supplied and at q2 heat is rejected and heat supplied minus heat rejected is known as work done right so this is the diagram for pv diagram for diesel cycle now we will understand its ts diagram because that diagram is also important ts diagram you know what is T? T is temperature as is entropy. So it's 1, it's 2, it's 3 and it's 4. 2 to 3, 4. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. Okay. So 2 to 3 and 2 to 3 is constant pressure cycle. Constant pressure is here. And heat is adding in case of in case of diesel cycle at constant pressure and uh, 3 to 4 is a constant volume constant volume and heat is rejecting here so 1 to 2 isentropic compression and 3 to 4 isentropic expansion okay these four things are clear and because of these four process we are getting this cycle okay now let's go for 1 to 2 1 to 2 what is going on there basically it is isentropic compression okay and in case of its ratio would be compression ratio would be v1 by v2 its compression ratio is v1 by v2 and here what process is going on isentropic process compression isentropic compression you need to write in the examination like this what is going on in 1 to 2 process okay and uh, with diagrams okay <clears throat> now 2 to 3 2 to 3 what is going on here it is uh, here it uh, here is also going on another process that is uh, known as constant uh, constant pressure process right so here what is going on 
constant pressure process and here what is happening heat is supplied at constant pressure therefore you can say q1 let's say this is q1 i have already shared with you this is q1 q1 is equal to constant pressure cp and uh, here temperature t3 minus t2 because heat is supplied at this in this process right and 3 to 4 3 to 4 is known as isentropic expansion process isentropic expansion process so in this case what is the ratio isent isentropic expansion ratio expansion ratio you can say that so the ratio would be what v1 to v2 so v4 by v3 right right now ne next let's move to the next uh, process that is 4 to 1 process in this process what is going on basically heat is rejecting and this is also known as 4 to 1 process is also known as constant volume and in this case what is happening heat is rejecting uh, rejecting right so therefore q2 is equal to constant volume cv t4 minus t1 okay so what we got here from the from, uh, till now constant we got all process 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 1 and also we got two things that is those are uh, heat supplied and heat rejected and from these two things we can find out efficiency of it efficiency of this diesel cycle or constant pressure cycle so as you know the simple formula i mean the general i mean the general formula for efficiency is output by input so output in general what we work done okay and here input is what heat supplied hs okay so here what is basically work done we need to understand this and heat supplied is here cp t3 minus t2 once we'll understand what is work done then it becomes quite easier for us to find out efficiency of this diesel cycle all right now let's go for a cycle suppose that this is a heat engine right here i'm giving q1 heat at t1 temperature and heat is rejecting at q2 q2 and at t2 temperature and we are getting work done okay so this is a diagram, typical diagram it is a simple diagram of heat engine probably you have studied i don't know you have studied or not but in thermodynamics we have this diagram right suppose that q1 is equal to 100 work done is 60 and q2 is 40 kilojoule 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 that means what how we got this work done how we got this output difference of heat supplied minus heat rejected so output is what supplied heat supplied minus heat rejected is work done so what we can write here heat supplied minus heat rejected so what is it supplied let me write this first heat supplied is here what is it supplied constant pressure cp T3 minus T2 heat rejected CV T4 minus T1 all right so we got this now what we can do we can just divide this term to this so we've got 1 minus CV T4 minus T1 by CP T3 minus T2 got it now what exactly we know one thing is uh, one thing we know that is gamma is equal to CP by CV right gamma is equal to cp by cv so what we can do this b we can put here okay so after putting here what we get we can get answer t4 minus t1 by it's gamma definitely t3 minus t2 because gamma is equal to cp by cv all right so how we have sent this we have just we just sent to this below right so we can remove this cp by cv is equal to gamma i have already shared with you here so we have put it the value of gamma i mean value of this here so we got efficiency is equal to efficiency of diesel cycle is this 
okay there is another formula in terms of ratio that is cut of ratio so we can also use that formula but this is the basic definition or i must say derivation of diesel cycle okay i hope you understand each and everything so what i have shared with you in this video total well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye